Okay, so I'll try and make this one um, not go for too long. Uh, but it's just something that I um, that I uh, experienced uh, just now, uh, doing some uh, doing some uh, nadan uh, practice, and um, it's that the right way to uh, explain uh, what is happening, uh, you know, in the uh, dantian. Um, and uh, it's the same as um, what uh, in uh, alchemical manual for this millennium is referred to as a uh, point fulcrum torus or point fulcrum tori plural and um, uh, it's the same as you know it's just an extra it's just that there's just an extra dimension or a few of them you know uh, more gradients of extra dimensions it's just like um, uh, if you are very good at uh, sensing sensing gravity uh, if you have if you have a better um, you know uh, aptitude of a, a gravity and adapting to it with with your body then you're going to be, um, you know, you're going to have an advantage over, over in, in a wrestling match, for instance. You're going to have an advantage over someone who is, um, you know, is less sensitive to uh, to gravity and how it's changing their body, and kind of someone that has less. Uh, let me think of a kind of a Western science word of it, that has less um, proprioception, uh, you know, than the other person. And that's because you know you are um, your point fulcrum is is on the ground. Like my my uh, point fulcrum, or there is a point fulcrum between me and the and the earth. Here. So so there's a point fulcrum. Okay, and um, you can see also a couple of uh, symbols here. I think one is um, I think that one is from ancient Pali, and this one here is actually from ancient Scandinavian. Uh, language and that represents the point fulcrum now where does a uh, you know how does a whirlpool form or why does a whirlpool form or what function does a whirlpool perform uh, so a whirlpool you know it happens when there is a um, you know a difference in pressure between two uh, regions or if we have a, um, a more dense region separating two different, uh, you know, pressure regions, one higher pressure and one lower pressure, and then the whirlpool will form. But that is only two-dimensional, like, a, you know, an hourglass or a hurricane or, a, you know, a whirlpool, you know, this is only a two-dimensional way. And, and like the wrestling match, the person who has really good proprioception, uh, ability uh, more so than his opponent so this is still only kind of on that same dimension or may maybe that's like 2.5 or something but um, we have a, uh, a lesser gradient dimension uh, where we are falling into so we are f falling uh, onto the you know onto the earth here and there is this uh, point fulcrum between us and the earth um, but uh, there is a kind of a, a buffer region, uh, a more dense region between our physical um, dimension. Or okay, it's it's not it's not the best way to think of it as in one dimension, two dimension, three dimension, four dimension, so on, so on. It's more like uh, more dimensional and less dimensional, and it's just an infinite pressure gradients um, like this. This is how Alchemical Manual uh, explains it. So there is just kind of a, a more dense region between our physical, between this um, level of physicality and a lesser level of physicality that has a lower pressure. So because it has a lower pressure, our physical, our higher physicality is being sucked into that. 
okay, is being pushed into that. But because there is a, we have kind of a buffer region between that, or you can think of it as like, you know, every every atom or every even cells in your body and um, a lot of, you know, uh, corp corpuscular structures, as is explained in the alchemical manual, okay, corpuscular structures, also like an electron, they have a, a kind of a, a two-way valve on them that regulates the pressure okay and when you are when you are just like doing regular propios, proprioception and with gravity it's still only in a more physical dimension but when you you know when you sit here when you do nadan practice so because you we are we have electric currents going through us and our consciousness is basically manifest via those uh, via those yin and yang electric currents so when you become aware of this, then you you will settle into you will settle into those electric currents. You will feel the that pressure region. You will be able to regulate the pressure between those two dimensions. And this is happening in the Dantian. And so when that starts, it will be a very 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 small uh, annu annulus annulus. How do you spell it? And um, I think an no. Plus, which is kind of a um, annulus, which is basically the, the annulus is kind of the center point here. It's just this um, kind of two-way valve between this gradient of dimensionality to a lesser pressure. Okay, and that is gravity, by the way. That is that is also electrostatic uh, attraction. It's the same thing. And, but there are many different gradients of this. There are different phases. So of course, if you want anti-gravity, you have to have you have to be locked into the right phase, you know, and and uh, other, other things come into it as well. So it's it's not that simple. But at least in our body here, um, we have the you know we have the we have the opportunity to practice things like nadan and deep meditation to um, to open up this annul annulus. What happens when we sink down our awareness there to the to the lower part and then bring it up inside, you know, and then when we when we start to to let it build, that that annulus will get um, a little bit bigger, and but you will be able you will you will feel the pressure on from a higher dimensionality to a lower dimensionality. You'll be able to regulate those, and then this 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 torus this uh, energy field will, with these, you know, to um, it has a in, in the middle, you know, like a like a, um, a uh, the, the lower pressure region and then the higher pressure region on the outside and it forms in a in this you know in this uh, reciprocating you know processional toroid with a you know energy field with um, you know with, with all the, the the lines extending out extending through the meridians of the body um, and so it's it's the same and you can actually also um, you know, make a uh, a uh, one of these toroids, tor toroidal energy field with with uh, electronically as well. So our body has them as well, and it's connected to to our consciousness somehow. I haven't gone that far, so but please leave me a comment if you if you know more, and if you have more uh, to to add to that. Um, so we have the ability, you know, to to. Uh, to develop these fields in our body and um, as I say they can be also done kind of artificially using different setups of coils and things and um, you know when you when you develop them physically as well you will also have a you know repul repulsive effect uh, attra attraction as well kind of like anti-gravity something like that and um, yes so it's it's the same, and we can also control this uh, in our body, and we can we can link different pressure regions, and you know uh, discharge electric uh, current via different um, you know circuits through the body, and and uh, even more than that. So so I hope that's kind of um, yeah sort of demystifies you know what what is um, energy really? What is energy, and how does energy? Uh, how, how, how can energy exist and what function can it perform and how are, how are we manifest through energy? Um, yeah, thank you.